ain't room in this town for the boat, the bus. It's a stampede! What you just saw there was a stereotypical cowboy. A little on the exaggerated side, but you know, that's what stereotypes are. That being said though, the Wild West was a great, great place. Everyone there got all these special perks for being there, like cool hats, horses, guns, I mean, this is a cap gun, not, not an actual gun, cows, and ropes with knots in them, also known as lassos. The lasso is a great tool for getting any, anything out of your reach. Like if your friend says, hey, could you grab me a soda? You can be like, sure. Got it for you, thanks. And obviously many, many people want to learn how to do it. But I know you're probably thinking to yourself, but I'm not a cow poke. I, that means I can't learn how to lasso. And to that I say, you're darn right that you're not a cowpoke. <laughs> but that doesn't mean that you can't learn. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. How to make and use a lasso. So now you know that you want a lasso. But I bet now you're saying that I don't have a lasso. How am I going to learn how to lasso? I got you there. So all you'll need is a rope. I'm just going to use baling twine. That's what we all need. So really all you need to know is the knot at the end. So first, tie a knot, just your basic overhand knot, boom. Then a little bit down the line, tie a slightly bigger knot, but don't complete it yet. And then take the tiny knot and just kind of loop it through there. So the knot comes out the other side, and then you just pull it tight, and boom, you have the end of the lasso. And then take the other end and loop it through, and there you go. You have your lasso. So now you have your lasso. Very nice work, or you could have just bought it online. I mean, they're not that expensive. But whatever, you have your lasso. And now it's time to start learning how to use it. The moment of truth. <sighs> okay. So to start off, you have your little loop. Now most people would just See this? Take it. Lasso! But no, that's not how you do it. Instead, take your loop and you want to make it as big as possible. Sorry, there was a beat. You want to make it as big as possible. And then, rather than holding it right at the knot, you want to drop down your hand a little bit so it kind of does this. That is basically how you will hold your rope. Next is how you stand. If you have ever thrown a baseball or something like that, this is a lot like it. What you want to do is hold the coil on your side and this out here. You want your non-dominant foot in front and your dominant foot in back and you just start swinging in a counterclockwise direction to your left or your non-dominant side if you're left-handed and when it's time and you want to throw it then you just step and throw like this and there you go 
So now you have the form down, but you can't quite aim right. And you'd think that there'd be a really like great solution to it, but no, it's, it's just practice. Like there, it, you just practice it a bunch. Or you could just get a great editor. 